the earth And I am The rising tide Waiting to reach the other side And this is me To so please let me be the part we all can sing together. Cut up. And this is me. So please let me be. I am a miracle. I'm the original. There is no second me. Well, I am not giving up. I am not giving in. I will be what I'm meant to be. Flickering light in the darkest night, waiting for dawn. And I am a boat in the ocean, sailing on, and now hope is gone. is me, so please let me be. And this is me, so please let me be. And I am a miracle, I'm the original. There is no second me. Well, I am not giving up, I am not giving Second me, well, I am not giving up. I am not giving in. I will be what I'm meant to be. Again, why am I underwater? Well, I don't know. Set me free, please let me be. Set me free. in me well I am not giving up I am not giving in I will be what I'm meant to be no I'm a miracle I'm the original there is no second me well I am not giving up I am not giving in I will be what I'm meant to be got to get this off what do you want to be when you grow up is a question I think most of us have been asked when we were kids 
Some of us wanted to be pilots. Some of us wanted to be rock stars. Some of us wanted to be maybe a fashion designer when we were kids. But as we grew up, so many things changed. Our priorities changed. The people around us changed. And we, we compromise on so many things so often. And I was faced with a similar situation. I had to choose between a nine to five, stable, well-paying job in the aviation industry. And I had to choose between that and music, which is something very unpredictable. And that's when I actually wrote this song, What I'm Meant to Be. My name is Brian Ernest. I'm a singer-songwriter from Mumbai. Allow me to walk you through how I became who I am. I was born and brought up in Mumbai, and like every high school kid, once you're done with your 10th standard, I got into the stream of science. Not because I knew what I wanted to be, but simply because I got good marks. If you get good marks, you can get into science. Which brings me to my first point that it's OK to not know what you want to be. I see people getting so stressed, you know. Once you're just done with college, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. But that's the thing. There's no hard and fast rule that right after college, you need to know what you need to do. Anybody remember this guy? OK, how about now? Yeah? Colonel Harlan Sanders, at the age of 40, he decided to fry chicken and sell it off. One of the biggest food chains in the world right now. Anyone knows this guy? Jack Ma from? A little louder. Yeah, that's good. See? Jack Ma from Alibaba. After facing multiple rejections, at the age of 39, along with, I think, a few of his roommates, he started Alibaba. Today, it's earning turnovers in millions of dollars. You see, age is not a factor. I mean to keep that in mind. So I kept that in mind. I gave lifetime. I soon, af soon after my 12th standard, I started pursuing my aircraft maintenance engineering. Such a big name. <laughs> but it's, 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 it's a good course. But there's something in this course uh, that's called as an OJT, that's an on-job training, where you work for six months in a live field setup so that you get live field experience. And it was at this time that I realized, man, I don't think I'm cut out for this. I don't think I see myself doing this 10 years down the line. And that's when I had to make a call. Because my heart lied somewhere else. And that's, that brought me to fighting with questions like, who am I? What do I love doing? And what defines me? And there was just one thing that was coming back. Music was something that defined me. Music was something that no one could take away from me. It was something that added value to my life and to the lives of people around me. It completed me. It satisfied me. But here's the catch. Music is not considered to be a stable job in India, especially in India. It's not even considered to be a profession. I'm being honest, out of personal experience. So this whole scene, I had to literally know who I am to make a call like this. Because this was a gamble that I'm playing with my life. I had to know my strengths. I had to know my weaknesses. I had to know the things I'm good at and the things that I suck at. For the simple reason, because you need to see the, the coin on both sides. You need to see it both ways. The things that you're strong at, once you focus on them, put in your time and your effort, and you build the things that you're good at to be even better, and ultimately to be the best that you can be. Whereas if, now I don't know if some of you all must be thinking I'm not good at anything. If you're thinking something like that, I'd urge you, think harder. Because there is always something that you're good at. Maybe you just don't know it till now, but soon you'll figure out. One of the things that helped me, people around me started telling me, you know, you play really well, you sing really well. And that was kind of a pointer to me that, hey, I think this is what I should do. So I need to know my strengths. I need to know my weaknesses. Now, all of us have got flaws. Nobody is perfect. It's how we look at these flaws that actually determines where we are heading. If I look at my flaws, focus on them, I feel sorry for myself. People are going to be doing the same thing. They're not going to be looking up to you. So I did that. I focused on my strengths. And music was something that came to me very naturally. At the age of nine, 
I don't like putting up my childhood pictures, but at the age of nine, I started learning the violin. Went on to the eighth, uh, to the ninth grade, where I actually picked up the guitar. And it's a very funny story how I learned the guitar. My mom used to learn the guitar long back when she was a teenager, and she had written down these basic chords in a book. And this book was like about 25 years old when I found it. And I opened this up and I saw this treasure and I'm like, there was a 15 year old guitar lying at home. I put that out and I started practicing. And I play the way I play today is because of that. So you see how small things in life actually turn out to be one of the biggest decisions that I have to make right now. I soon started, after, after started playing the guitar, I soon started teaching the guitar. And I took in every opportunity to play the guitar wherever I could play it. And soon this converted into songwriting. And from then, unknowingly, I did not realize that I'm investing my time and my effort into something that's one day going to be my source of income or my source of livelihood. So this is what we learn from this. Take every opportunity that you get to make things that you're good at, to make it better and to make it the best. If that's your aim, I don't think there's anything in the world that can stop you from achieving what you want to. I call this whole phase of discovering yourself, who I am, what do I love doing? This whole phase, I call it as a cocoon phase. That was a cocoon phase. <laughs> and you see, the dream, your full potential to be who you're meant to be, is somewhere beyond that. So often we are caught up with such securities and comforts in life that we don't want to push ourselves, that we don't want to get out of our comfort zone. But I tell you what, get out of that comfort zone because there's a world much more beautiful lying outside than in that small cage that you're in. And, and this is the phase that separates people who dream and people who chase dreams. You can be a dreamer. All of us are dreamers. You think so? If you believe it in your heart, you think so? Yes. But this is what separates dream chasers from dreamers. You get what I'm saying? What helped me break this cocoon? You're going to shout this word out on the count of three, as loud as you can. Can you do that for me? All right. One, two, three. I said shout it out. One, two, three. Travel. Travel was something that came to me very spontaneous. It was not planned. It was not a planned luxury trip. Travel was something that was very uncertain. And I started off with cycling. I did not start cycling when I was two years old, but this was a really cute picture I liked. So this was my first cycle and my really underaged, retarded editing skills. But it's on this cycle that I went on a 150 kilometer trip without telling anyone. And by the time I came home, my folks at home thrashed me. Because they saw me, they saw this whole attitude as an attitude of a rebel, as an attitude of someone who's trying to beat the system or someone who's trying to be over smart. But for me, it was so much more different. I felt, I liked that independence that I felt when I cycled. I liked discovering new places. And cycling moved on to biking, where I started biking across India. I did the Mumbai Spiti circuit, that's about 5,000 kilometers. I did solo. It gave me the courage to explore new horizons, to look at life so much more differently, that life is more than just a job, that life is all about living. It's not about surviving and scraping it through the day, it's actually about living and enjoying and thriving. This is something that I learned. So two things that will help you break you out of your cocoon. The love for what you're doing and your passion, because this is what's going to drive you through the bad times. And times are going to get bad. It's not an easy road. It is going to get difficult. But this is what will drive you. And the second most important thing that you need are the balls of an elephant. In other words, courage. You need that courage to take that risk, leave everything behind, go against society, go against the standard society norms that Shub was talking about, you know, the structure that they build. Go against that and run against everyone to achieve your dream. So, to quickly summarize, can we shout out the words that you see on the screen at the count of three? One, two, three. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? Find your strengths, find your weaknesses, work on your strengths, focus on them, blur out the weakness and run towards your goal. One, two, three. 
Don't compare. Your time zone, your life cycle is so much more different than the person sitting next to you. They are fighting their own battles. You're fighting your own battles. So remember that. And we get out of the next phase. Can you say it out loud? One, two, and three. Get out of your cocoon. Get out of that safe, comfortable zone. Get out of there. And achieve something that you're fully capable of doing. And last, I would like to say that life is so much more than just a job. That life is all about living. Do you agree with me? Can I hear a hell yeah if you agree with me? <laughs> Hell yeah, from the heart. Let's go. Do you agree with me? Yeah, you do, right? All right, so I'm going to play one last song. That's it, my talk's done. <laughs> Why one last song? It's called as a traveler's song, all right? Um, bro, you take over. This is a song I wrote because I love traveling, and I think traveling can change a lot of things. It can change your perspective of how we look at things. All right, so this song is called as a traveler song. It's a very simple song. I thought I'll use a looper, but I'm gonna use you guys as my drum kits. Is that cool? All right, simple action and ancient technique where you take one hand, the other hand, and you clap, all right? We're gonna do this on the count of two and four. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four. When I say two, you clap. When I say four, you clap. Can you do this? All right, one, three, one, three, one, three, the rule is not to stop. A little faster, all right. Maybe I've been living on the roads Trying to find out what no one knows But I feel so good Well, I feel so good You can sing along if you want to well, I don't give a damn to what they say They're gonna keep on fading anyway Oh, in my mirror In my rearview mirror Oh, I sing with me Yeah, cause I wanna fly in the mountains I wanna swim in the sea No matter what you say no matter where I go, I know I will always be me. All right, you can stop clapping. This loop of life just never seems to end. I've tried to break it, but it always bends. Oh, this can be real. I feel so unreal. So what do I do? So I hop onto my bike on a sunny day. Hoping that the roads lead to a place where this chaos ends And where I dance with the wind Are you ready to clap? Let's go! Yeah! Cause I wanna fly in the mountains I wanna swim in the sea No matter what you say No matter where I go I know I will always be me You know why? That's who I'm meant to be 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 Alright, I can never clap so you sing a bit Let's go louder, come on So the next verse says I think I've finally figured a way out Well, travel gets you far beyond your doubt where you have been living This world outside is so real Now listen up So don't be shy to look beyond the lights Cause there are many things that are still worth the fight You just need to know What's worth fighting for Sing it out Yeah Cause I wanna fly in the mountains I wanna swim in the sea No matter what you say No matter where I go I know I 
will always be me. All right, your turn to sing. Because I want to fly in the mountains. I want to swim in the sea. Let's hear it. No matter what you say. No matter what you say. No matter where I go. I know I will always be me. That's who I'm meant to be. 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 Yeah, I'm meant to be. That's who I'm meant to be. That's who I'm meant to be. That's who I'm meant to be. Can you have a round of applause for yourselves? You've been such a great audience. Come on.